Hello and welcome, my name is Carl, I'm 2 Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. I'm an amateur radio uh, operator in the UK. Uh, I, this channel is mostly about my outdoor uh, amateur radio operation, but I also include some of the um, uh, radio room operation that I do, mostly around the amateur satellite service. So, as well as going out and operating amateur radio and uh, talking to people, um, I also use a lot of the same equipment and a lot of the same technologies for either talking to people through the satellite, amateur satellite system, or I tend to collect a lot of data from the satellites as well. So, I'm currently here in the radio room. Uh, I've got a huge list of things to do that I never get around to doing, such as building up my step-down book converter from 12, 12 volts to 5 volts to run the Raspberry Pi remotely. So that is finally now being built up. I'm um, just soldering up a few um, bits and bobs. At the moment, the HF bands are quiet. They're not dead. They're not dead, but they're quiet. Uh, VHF is rather quiet around here as well. Uh, I've got plans to lift the VHF um, vertical antenna another uh, five foot in the air. That may give me a little bit more activity and hopefully get some APRS into the uh, into the room. Let me just turn off some of this. Right, okay. Just switching off the power supply. It's getting quite warm. So... Yeah, like I said, the HF bands are quiet but not dead, uh, and the VHF is quiet, but that's just down to me to get um, the antenna higher. But it doesn't mean that actually uh, radio has stopped in the, in the radio room. It means that there's plenty of things to get on with uh, as a amateur radio operator. So uh, to give an example of that, uh, today is a pretty good example of the, the things that you can you can do as a, a amateur radio um, hobbyist. One of the things that I wanted to emphasize in this video is that for many amateur radio operators, there's also a very close link to working with science and electronics, as well as um, using amateur radio for communication. So in summary, you know, amateur radio isn't just about talking to people, it isn't just about getting people into the log because um, for many people, um, the actual talking to each other or making contacts is only a small part of the actual whole uh, hobby as well. And, and that goes for me as well, that I do love getting out there, I do love building portable stations, do love making contacts, do love the challenge of getting out there and doing that. But I also you know, really enjoy the electronic side and science side of the hobby. And that becomes even more um, evident for those amateur radio operators like me that enjoy working with amateur satellite technology. And as, as many of us know, the amateur radio operators f throughout the history of, of the hobby have played a really integral part in, in pushing um, the ability to send voice and data over long distances using a whole range of technologies and frequencies. And that the same goes for the amateur radio or amateur satellite uh, technology as well. So currently at any one time we have uh, many, um, many hundreds of amateur um, satellites uh, orbiting the Earth in low Earth orbit as well as in a geostationary orbit with the QO, QO100. So, but mostly we have lots of these um, small CubeSats that rotate around the Earth, orbit around the Earth. And many of these CubeSats also have science payloads in there. So they'll have a scientific experiment, but they'll also use amateur radio um, transceivers to send that science t data back down to Earth and then also to receive a lot of the uh, ground control uh, information back to the satellite for adjustments. 
So many of these amateur satellites use the amateur radio frequencies because it just reduced the cost of using commercial frequencies. So there's a very close bond between amateur radio operators and amateur, amateur satellite engineers and developers and universities and all those people that run the science experiments. So for me, this is a really exciting part of the hobby because not only can I play radio and talk to people and get out there on a the muddy hill, it also means that I can use that, those skills that I'm learning to help with the amateur satellite community. And there's numerous ways that, that I do that. Um, there's the SatNOX um, system, which I run. I run, I run two SatNOX systems. It, one is a permanent permanent VHF system that I operate at home and that collects data um, from the VHF band. Any of the amateur satellites that have uh, data and communication on VHF, I use the SatNOGS to collect that data and decode that data and store that into a, a, a database. At any one time we have a global network of ground stations, so as the satellites orbit around the, the, the Earth, the, the data coming from those satellites can be picked up from many continents, giving an almost 24 hour coverage as well. So I run a VHF, VHF station that currently uh, tracks uh, and decodes and then stores the data from many satellites. I've also started to build a portable UHF um, satellite tracking station and that's why I've been building this um, book down converter because I'm going to be running um, hopefully the, the plan is to take this out um, away from the, the, the city um, find a place that I can get a 4G connection which is really important for this one get a 4G connection but then run the Raspberry Pi uh, into a UHF turnstile antenna and the Raspberry Pi will run the SatNOGS system connected via 4G to the SatNOGS network and I can maybe over a period of six hours or so I can collect data while at portable. So that's currently on the bench at the moment building a, um, a, a DC to DC step down converter for that. The Currently I got the UHF sitting outside on test in this little box. Um, I need to upgrade that box to a waterproof box and that will be ready then to take out into the field. Uh, I am also running here, um, I've got the FT857 connected. Uh, I think on the last video I had the FT7900 uh, on FM but now I've switched out that for the FT857 uh, which is a multi-mode radio so now I can actually um, operate the repeaters, um, the transponders on the satellites using the uh, rotator that I've got outside so I can use uh, FM and uh, single sideband. Uh, so every now and again I have a tinker on that uh, and I catch some of the um, satellites that have repeaters built into them um, using the HRD Ham Radio Deluxe uh, satellite tracking software uh, to run that as well. Um, at the moment I'm still using the manual rotator. Um, I have got with me, um, I've got with me, let me just reach over. The manual rotator will be switched out for the uh, MDS RCG uh, 1G. Um, this will actually uh, connect to the computer via um, serial. This will rotate the antenna when the satellite passes using the um, either HRD or might use Orbitron as well. That way I can actually operate the birds a bit better. When I said that VHF is quiet around here, yes it is quiet. I'm not picking up that many people locally. When I put a call out, I don't really get that many responses back on VHF. However, what I have done is I've rerouted the um, X50 uh, antenna into the um, fun cube dongle which is in the back of this computer and I'm running a program called Fox Telemetry Fox Telem and basically I'm collecting the data from the Fox 
satellites, the scientific data. So I'm using the my spare capacity, my spare antenna set up from the, the, the roof of the house to collect Fox data. Uh, and, that, and that's been sent back to the scientific teams and the education teams for the uh, Fox, um, I think it's AMSAT US. So I'm using my spare capacity, Whisper on HF, collecting Whisper data for propagation experiments. And I'm also collecting the Fox satellites for their scientific um, uh, data as well. So if you've got spare capacity as an operator and you may be not using the radio, try and think, okay, what can I dedicate the next few hours of my radio equipment to the scientific community? I think that's what that's one of the points I wanted to raise in this video is that the relationship between amateur radio operators and science experiments and scientists and educators <coughs> there's a strong link there but we have to actually work on that as well we have to use <coughs> excuse me we have to use our skill set and our equipment and actually find ways in so if you've got that spare capacity use it for good use it's good fun as well it's good to know that the radio is not sitting there gathering dust it's actually contributing to science and education. I mean, it can't get better than that, can it? It can't get better than um, geeking out on a spare couple of hours, soldiering all the jobs up, building a lot of circuit boards up, fixing all the things that have been on that long list of things to fix. Happy days. Uh, and also, I've been... Um, when I said HF is quiet but not dead, um, it is quiet but not dead. I really mean that because I've been running Whisper on 40 metres and 20 metres and I'm hearing tons of stations. There's lots of stuff coming through and I'm not getting huge DX on, on the um, uh, on 20 metres. I'm not getting that huge uh, leap over to the US or even to um, North, America, uh, North Africa. But what I am getting is um, a good European uh, reach on it. So don't give up on the HF. I do have a tinker about it every now and again. Yesterday I got two or three stations on um, later on at night and I made a few contacts there. Contacts in the day are hard to get at the moment. There's quite a lot of noise coming through. Uh, and propagation is in the boots but it's not dead so uh, that's it really that's just a, just a quick update on all the things that are, that's going on here um just wanted to update on the the sat now satellite tracking and um, the dx commander getting that built up uh, also emphasized don't turn your radio off don't turn your radios off guys because it's still working let's get back on the radio and start talking to each other that'd be good so hopefully the next video after this, I'll be out with the DX Commander doing a bit more of the um, portable work as well and playing uh, outdoors. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments, please drop them in. If you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more updates from the radio room and more updates from the portable work as well, uh, as well as the amateur satellites and amateur radio stuff. So thank you for watching. Look forward to the next video. Happy days. Bye-bye.